Everybody, welcome back to Left Paw Gaming. Today, we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Final Fantasy 16. Last video, we returned to Mid with everything we needed for her workshop to get going, and Uncle Byron shows up. Uncle Byron had some information on Hugo Kupka. We found out where he is. Now we're going to get back to hunting him down and finish the job. Let's jump in. Oh, look at that. Look at this landscape. The Dalmakian Republic. Pretty sure this is an area called the Velcroy Desert. At least that's what the map showed. Is it going to tell us something different here? An obelisk there, so we know we can come back here anytime. Uh, I was a young man when last I walked this path. Little dust tornadoes. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. A trading post it is. All right, we run it straight there. Riddle of the Sands. All right, I like that quest name. We got the notice that the obelisk was activated. Awesome. Destination lies over there. Yeah, right, Belcroy Desert. Beyond the ruins. Mark him well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Yeah, I'm not surprised. But we do have, you know, that big landmark that we can just run towards if we know. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. Interesting. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home <laughs> and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. <laughs> nope. Losing control. Sorry. T trying to take a drink. <laughs> I need to pay attention. We're just running. Running straight. Running and running. You think those soldiers... Oh, people talking about soldiers. We got people here waiting for us. Man, just a wasteland out here. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Dell you know, this in. heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? <laughs> Somehow, I feel like that's going to get us in trouble. Oh, little cutscene. What's he getting mad about? Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. <laughs> Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. <laughs> Waited for Clive's okay. So it's interesting that Torgal is linked to Jill based on the info that we got. You know, he's a frost wolf, supposed frost wolf, who's supposed to protect Shiva, right? Shiva's his master, but he still listens to Clive as Clive is his real master, which is interesting. And I appreciate the dynamic. It just shows him that he cares about these two, period. You know, Clive and Jill. Uncle Byron's got that monster axe. Too bad we can't see a cutscene of him really using it. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. 
Two bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? <laughs> This is just amusing by itself. Wait a minute, is that... Is this the girl traveling with Joshua? <coughs> yes. <coughs> Are Clive and Joshua finally going to meet up again? Oh, he's coughing up Grace, blood like Sid. It is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Oh, come on. Prince Theon has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, your grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. So this is kind of a wild turn of events, the fact that Joshua and Clive and... Joshua has no idea that Clive's been working with Uncle Byron. Like, what a reunion this could be. Is this what we're going to get? She's downstairs. Tell me she's going to recognize Clive. Does she even really know what Clive looks like? Probably not. Although she might have been there uh, Keep watch, they tell us. the day Sid died All and everything. I, see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Oh, come on. Well, let's get this down us. Byron. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uncle? Sorry. She noticed something stirring. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Ooh, this is a tense situation. You are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Why would... Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Sorry. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Friend. Oh, people are starting to leave. They know what's about to go down. This camera movement in this whole... Byron. Bro. Distracting him. <laughs> what? In, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Oh. Ooh. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Oh, Clive, get it done. Here we go. Oh, what if Joshua comes out and joins the fight? That'd be so baller. The outlaw. Take him. 
Ooh, I love starting fights out with that move. Ooh, that was a new, uh... So if you guys haven't noticed, I did substitute uh, Garuda's wind skills for Titan's earth skills. We just saw one of the abilities of Titan. There's a new meter that pops up on screen, which we'll have to work on. Paying attention when we make our clicks. We wiped those guys out real fast. Hey, now. And no items. Clive made short work. <laughs> short work of these four. Hopefully, that doesn't a sound for more guard. <laughs> what was he doing? For your trouble. Just a bag of coins. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was she still watching? Yeah, she watched the whole thing. Does she know that that's Clive? Or does she just assume trouble? And we gotta bounce. Now's our chance. Or maybe because of Typhon, she doesn't want to mention Clive. Your Grace? I'm fine. There's a lot of mystery about these two still, like what they're doing. Obviously, they're going to see Prince Dion, who is <laughs> the one, the one leader's son. Obviously, Bahamut, but he's that one leader that's just. Always dismissing his uh, council's opinions. <laughs> that smug guy always staring at a flower. Anyway. Oh. Clive knows. Clive? Ooh, I got some goosebumps. Are they gonna reunite? No, oh, come on. Oh, does he... Is he feeling? He knew it wasn't those doors. Yo! Oh my god. Hairs are standing on end. What is it now? Nothing. Let's go. I wonder, did did he tell Byron anything about Joshua? Maybe something that we didn't hear yet? It doesn't seem like it, because why wouldn't he have said that he has a hunch Joshua's here? Look at Torval running up real nice like that. That's a monster of a dog, though. <laughs> Look at that, that's the open windows. Where are you? You were so close. Well, we didn't know where to find Kupka before. We do now. The ruler said to themselves, their guest is in the fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Oh, what is this? More of their friends guarding the door? Are those just straight-up Kupka's men? Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that well, gate. That's too bad. Uh, not by Because we on our way. I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. 
the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly right. help to narrow yeah, it the definitely search. Does. We need narrow only search. as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Updated quest. Speak with townspeople. Looks Two of like them. Back to None of these tells. guys lit up. Here we go. Oh, no, not this guy. You there, tell me. Anything I can help you with, Travis? Feed me info. Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. <laughs> hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Uh -huh. Thank you. That helps. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Maybe one of the people from those mentioned. Somebody who runs the bathhouse. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. Snarky. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt right, this then. young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you <laughs> me. <laughs> Anybody else to talk to? Here we go, someone else here. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's oh, been nice, a years. lead. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Then speak with Ferda well, at the baths. It sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep Ferda. Hey there. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? Ah, uh, he knows. She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Perfect. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. What is this? So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Oh, come on. I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you'll likely to lose it. Here we go. Ah, whoop him. Em. Oh. Got the timing on that one, right? Done. Not sure why you guys are still standing. Ooh. I like these Titan abilities. I did put uh, some of my ability points 
in the Titan uh, ability sphere. Just because, like I said before, I didn't want to just change up skills and really not get any kind of advancement. Oh. Oh. This is a pretty good combination of skills. Jesus. Shooting the rocks like that makes me think of when you get the stone abilities in Infamous Second Son. <laughs> it's way late in the game, though. Boom! Enemies bested, not defeated, so we probably only knocked them out, even though we were still using our sword. Whatever. And nothing really from spoils. Alright guys, we're going to cut this video off right here. There's a great spot for us to cut it off because we are in uh, the Valkroy Desert, specifically... Um, a little trading town of Dalamil, where we're supposed to find the desert hare. Uh, and we just got kind of sideswiped. We were supposed to be talking to Ferda, who actually knows the desert hare, Rosina Dalamil, and instead we get attacked by this group of people here. So kind of confused on what's going on, but we're going to find out very soon what all this means. Was it all a test? Is it just a game? Do we have something that we need to do to win favor of the Desert Hare first? All that to find out in the next video. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.